Hi, this is lesson uh, 17 for your journeys, uh, language arts reading. I'm going to go over the vocabulary today and some of the vocabulary questions. Um, it's the story that you're going to be reading is called Studying Animals from the Past. So let's start going over some of your vocabulary words. I'm on page 162 of your packet. The first voca target vocabulary word is buried. When you bury something, you dig a hole in the ground and the object goes in the ground and you bury it and you put dirt back on top of it. Evidence. Evidence is when you have, an, you have something to say about something and you provide evidence to back up your claim. So for example, if you say, uh, I found a fossil um, in a particular place, then you would bring back evidence. The bones would be the evidence of that fossil. Fierce. Fierce means um, very aggressive, very um, powerful. So when you use the word fierce, you like to think of words like uh, powerful and aggressive. Fossils are bones or animal remains of, or even human remains of uh, bones and other objects from the past. Remains, again, uh, kind of the same thing as fossils. Uh, something that is from the past, um, the remains of a body would be, example would be bones, okay? So many, let's go to number one. Many animals from the past are not alive today. We can learn about them only from their remains, what remains left from them. What types of remains might an animal leave? Think about the food it eats, or it ate, I should say. Um, what I just talked about with bones, and any other things that they might have left behind that would tell us about them. Number two, experts dig to find bones of these animals. The bones are buried under dirt and rock. Why must people be careful in digging up buried animal bones? What do you think could happen if they're not careful? Okay, um, so think that you're digging. Um, maybe, a, maybe a rock could fall on you. Um, maybe you would loosen up the dirt that's underneath you and um, you might fall into a hole or something like that. So safety. Think of safety, okay? Why must people be careful when digging up buried animal bones? Okay, number three. Now we're on page 163, okay? Number three says, people find tracks, teeth, and other signs of animals. These fossils tell us about the animals. What fossils would you like to see? So what kind of animals from the past would you like to see fossils of? That's an opinion, okay? So think of an animal that lived in the past, like a dinosaur, and pick one and write down which animal you would like to see. Number four, bones and tracks are not only evidence, the only evidence we have, cave paintings also tell us about animals from the past. Okay, so cave paintings would be from cavemen, people who lived in caves and they painted what they saw in stories on a cave. When you visit a friend's house, what evidence tells you that there is a pet? So if you go over a friend's house, how could you tell that there is a pet at their house besides the actual animal? What might be in the house for that uh, pet that you could tell use that there's evidence that the, your friend has a pet, okay? And finally, number five, some paintings show fierce beasts. They may be fighting. Name one fierce animal alive today. So again, pick an animal that is aggressive, um, that you would think of as dangerous, so that lives today, okay, that's still alive today. Name one fierce animal alive today. Okay, and then tomorrow we're gonna read the first half of Mammoths Long Ago and Today, okay? That's the story that we're gonna be reading. Okay, thanks for watching.